Welcome back to another week of Exos at Home. This is Body Weight Strength. You're joining me for 40 minutes of movement, okay? 40 minutes of a strength workout, and you will need that space. I'm Coach Gene. I will be guiding you through today. We got a lot of fun things planned, um, but we are going to be continuing that power portion this week uh, of our workout, trying to introduce some jumping, some bounding, some hops, okay? So maybe today is not the day for the barefoot. Maybe you need to throw some shoes on. Um, yeah, you can clean afterwards, but throw some shoes on and also you're going to need a chair. Okay, you see I have a chair in the back of me. Um, you're going to need something about knee height. Could be a couch, okay, it could be a coffee table, something that you can basically do a single leg squat to. Okay, so whatever that is, give you some time to get that. Other than that, basic necessities, water, yoga mat, and please, some space today. You're really actually going to need some space, okay, depending on how, how well you can jump. Okay? So beyond that, let's go ahead and take it down to the ground. We're going to work on our spine mobility. I'm going to guide you through this first preparation phase. And we're actually going to do something a little different. So knees up to that belly button as we normally do. Bottom hand on the top knee as we normally do. Now my top hand here, okay, is going to reach towards the ceiling. And I'm basically going to row it down into my rib cage. And then I'm just going to rotate, opening up that chest to the ceiling. Okay, so it's a row and rotate towards the ceiling and then drive my arm up. So it's a nice arm bar. You can rotate that thumb backwards if you want to add a little torque. Okay, as you can see, I'm trying to really hinge forward or bend forward, trying to get all that weight in my bottom shoulder, pull down, and then reach up. Okay, five times each side. <sighs> trying to open up, try to keep those knees together and keep that 90 degree angle in your feet, okay? Now we're just gonna straighten the legs from there. Now my bottom arm comes out nice and straight for stability, same thing, I'm really just trying to rock onto that bottom part of my torso, okay? So I have all my weight on that bottom shoulder. And from here, I'm gonna keep that arm into that arm bar position and I'm gonna rock my hips straight down. So I'm gonna bring the top part of my leg, or so my right leg down into the ground and I'm gonna torque my shoulder out, so I'm gonna continue driving back, keeping that arm bar and then rotate up. So it's just down and up with the hips, just a quick little rotation here to try to twist up, work on that mobility five times again, okay? And then just switch it up to the other side again, coming up to that 90 degree angle, okay? Start with that arm bar, pull down as if I'm rowing into that rib cage, open up. Ooh, yeah, that side's tight on me. And five each side, so. Row down, reach up. Row down, reach up. Okay, same thing. Straighten out those legs, straighten out that bottom arm, and then just rotate your hips down. Keep that arm bar though. Don't let that elbow bend. Keep it extended and drive back. You're gonna feel that shoulder blade start to contract and back there. That's a good feeling. That's what we want. We wanna get twisted here with this rotation, little cork with our body. Good, and then we're going to go ahead and sit up into a quadruped position. From this quadruped position, we're basically gonna lift up opposite arm, opposite leg. So you're gonna come up into a bear position, okay, lifting those legs off the ground. So you really wanna drive those toes into the ground, drive those hands into the ground, and just lift opposite arm, opposite leg. You're gonna do five on each side. Just like so. Try to be as still as you can. Hold for at least a second at the top. And we're gonna do five on each side, as I said, 10 total. Good, once you're done, walk it up to a standing position. Yeah, okay. We're gonna bring it into a split stance position. Okay, from here, we're basically gonna just try to create vertical angles with our shin, driving our knee into the ground, and our shin up in front. Okay, you can try to stay nice and vertical. What we're going to do is rotate over that knee. So I want the hands to start up tall, pull down as if I'm doing a lat pull down, and then rotate across. Okay, once I'm done, I just come back up to that top position. So everything comes down. So legs go down, hip stretches out, I pull down into a lat pull down, then I rotate. Okay, go ahead and give that a try. Five on each side. Okay, I want to get nice and long. Really try to extend both arms. 
Okay, rotating over that knee and then just switch it up. Again, I'll give you another angle here. So start up tall. Imagine you're doing a lat pull down or a pull up. Pull down and then rotate across. Getting nice and long. Come back, stand up. Awesome. All right, we're gonna continue this journey, trying to really activate our glutes, so stay nice and low. We are going to keep our chest over our knees and just a little side shuffle, side shuffle here. We're gonna do five or six to one side and then five or six back. Real brief here. Stand up, okay. That was just a little quick glute activation and then from there we're gonna start up tall and then open that hip up and then close. Okay, so same thing, start with that hip flexion, open, close, keeping that foot locked in on the ground, open, close, work on a little stability in that hip flexion position, it's gonna be important today. Okay, five on each side, so start up tall, okay, open that hip up and then close the hip. Just like a door, open, close. Here we go, five on each side. Keep this momentum going, okay? This preparation is just as important as the workout today. Awesome. All right, now we're gonna extend those legs. Once you finish five on each side with that open, closed hip, extend the legs out to that triangle position, big wide base. Let's lean into that chair as we always do. But now we're gonna stay low, and we're gonna to try to get as low as we can from side to side, going five each side. So we're not gonna pop up, okay? We're gonna stay nice and low. Okay, you can even pop that hip, pop that toe up onto that heel, go side to side, 10 total here. Little leg burner there, awesome. All right, now, as we always do, the neural activation, a little tough virtually, but I know you guys are doing great at home. Just follow me. We're going to load, okay, in our, in our base position nice and slow. So the hands are actually gonna go back real slow. Once you get to a comfortable position where you're comfortable jumping from here, you're just gonna do a 50% easy jump. Okay, simple enough. Then just add 20% to that, so a little harder. Same thing, slow, get to a nice position that's athletic and you're ready to jump, add a little more to the ground. Okay, so drive that ground away. And then lastly, this is your last one, only three jumps here, load nice and slow, this should be about 90%. Really drive through the ground, and that is it. Okay, so you've completed your preparation, you're ready to go. Going right into our primary block here, we're going to do some power. So we're going to do a broad jump. So instead of jumping vertical, you're going to find some space within your home to jump more horizontal, jumping out for two to three reps. From there, you're going to go to a lateral pillar bridge with the chair. So top leg is on top of the chair, and then you're going to drive your leg through the chair and your hip pops up to an even point. You're going to do five reps there, five on each leg. And then finally, we're going to do um, a straight leg glute bridge where the opposite leg is up towards your chest and you're just pressing through the chair and rising those hips to that top position. So first movement, broad jump, two to three jumps right into that lateral pillar bridge with adduction and then the glute bridge uh, with that straight leg, okay? Three rounds, three sets, enjoy, have some fun. I'll see you in the secondary. Moving on to our secondary block, um, we are going to be getting a little bit more technical here. So we're gonna be using that chair as well. We're gonna be doing a one-legged pistol and then getting to the top position of our sprint um, with the opposite leg. So left leg is down here in the video and then I'm driving my right leg to the top. We're gonna be doing five reps here. Try to really come up um, as hard as you can through the ground and drive to that top position of your sprint. Um, from there, you're gonna go right into basically a quarter Turkish get up. So as you can see, I'm driving off of my heel 
and my hand driving up to the top and then I'm reaching with that leg through into my bear crawl okay so that counts as one rep you're gonna do five on each side again three sets or three rounds however you want to call it um, enjoy and have fun and then I got a little surprise for the ender We're going to be doing a body weight squat test. Two minutes all out, as many reps as you can accomplish. Then we're going to take a one minute break. Okay. Then we're going to be doing two minutes again. Try to beat your score before. Okay. Let me know what you got. Post it. Comment. Let me know how many squats you did. I'm going to do it with you. A little quick video here, but it's two minutes of work, one minute of rest, and then another two minutes. Okay. Here we go. About five minutes of work here. In three, two, one, let's go. Regents, regent part, kicking off that recovery, trying to kickstart you a little bit. Your body, your heart rate, respiratory system, all working right now. Your muscles, everything is loosened up. Now it's time to really hit that static stretch, okay? So we start with that dynamic portion. Want to end with trying to gain some ranges, okay? So let's use that chair that we have out. Or if you're at home and you have a couch, Something for your knee. Okay, I got a pad. You can use a pillow at home. We're gonna be getting into a half kneeling position. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my right leg up. Okay, I'm gonna to try to get my shin as vertical as possible, but I also, give you another angle here, but I also want to be able to keep that line, okay, from my knee to my shoulder. I don't want my hip to be back, and I also want to be able to be nice and stable up front and driving my knee down. When I drive my knee down, I want to flex my glute, okay? And then I want to drive my arms overhead, give me a nice lean to the side that should open up that oblique, okay, that psoas, that rectus, okay? 
So everything's opened up as we lean, and then we're just gonna add a nice split that leg rotation as we did before. Okay, drop the hands, meet yourself back in the middle. Five on each, so really reach, reach, reach. We're not necessarily trying to drag the spine, right? We don't want to tilt that bucket of water. We really just want to drag the knee down and open up that hip, okay? So be a little cautious with that hip. It should be nice and tight, no squats. Five reps on each, so lean, and then rotate. Lean, and then rotate. Stand, shake it out. You want to feel how those hips feel a little bit more opened up. We're going to do the same thing except standing. So it's in a split stance or you can almost do an offset stance. So offset stance is just like a very small split stance. What I really want to do is flex my butt cheek and then drive my hip forward. And I'm just going to reach over. So it's just a solid movement, but I'm really trying to heel that glute turn on and really trying to drive everything forward so this stays nice and open and then I'm just reaching. Okay, so it's hard to really contract that glute and be honest with that whole motion and also driving my heel. So five on each side. Good stuff here. Sometimes it's hard just to go right into a big reverse lunge or a forward lunge, any kind of lunge or squat. It's better really just to work on trying to activate, open up. Something that I like to work more on in the end rather than the beginning, but you can do this at the beginning. The only thing is, as you can see, it's really stretching and opening up, lengthening. Not always the best to start the day, but something good to end the day. Thank you so much for joining. I hope to see you guys all again. I will see you guys on Thursday. And uh, yeah, take care. Aloha.